Lots of people travel on the Fat Controllers Railway. It gets busy. One mold in the Fat Controller allows the sheds. There's a new engine that will arrive tomorrow. It's from Scotland. I think, I don't know. The Fat Controller set in his office waiting. But then, just then, the inspector arrived. Sir, your order has arrived for the two engines. Two? I only ordered one! 9846. But there's two. They said they lost their numbers on their way. We'll see about that. Alright, what's one of you's 9462? We lost our numbers along the way, the inspector told me. I will give you numbers. That way we can settle this nonsense. After we give you numbers, get to work. Okay! Come on, Billy. Soon, workmen came and gave the twins their numbers. Donald was nine, and Douglas ten. When the men went away, they were left alone in the shed. You may have noticed, Dougie, that yon painters forgot something. What did they forget? They painted broad new numbers on our tenders, but they put none on us. Donald winked broadly at his twin. Do you mean, grinned Douglas, that we can... Just that, chuckled Donald. Who do you wish? Here's the inspector. No, nine and ten, smiled the inspector. Here's Duck. He'll show you round before you start work. The twins enjoyed themselves. They were soon friends with Duck. They didn't mind what they did. They tackled goods trains and coaches easily. Duck. But take my tip. Watch out for Gordon, Henry and James. They're sure to try some nonsense. Get a fash yourself, chuckled Douglas. We'll soon settle them. Donald and Douglas had deep-toned whistles. They sound like buses, said Gordon. Or ships, sniggered Henry. Tugboat Annie, laughed Gordon. Ha, ha, ha. Donald and Douglas cruised quietly up one on each side. You wouldn't they be making fun of us, would you now? asked Donald. Gordon and Henry jumped. They glanced nervously from side to side. Uh, no, said Gordon. No, 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 certainly not, said Henry. That's fine, said Douglas. Now just mind the both of you and keep it that way. That was the way Gordon and Henry kept it. Every, Every day, punctually at 3.30, Gordon steams in with the express. It is called the Wild Nor'wester, and is full of people from England, Wales, and Scotland. There is also a special coach for passengers travelling to places on Thomas's branch line. When the other coaches are taken away empty, engines have to remember to shunt the special coach to the bay platform. It doesn't wait there long. Thomas, with Annie and Clarabel, comes hurrying from the junction to fetch it. Thomas is very proud of his special coach. One afternoon, Douglas helped Duck in the yard, while Donald waited to take a good strain to the other end of the line. As Duck was busy arranging Donald's trucks, Douglas offered to take away Gordon's coaches. Douglas was enjoying himself, when an awful thought struck him. Couldn't abide going back. He worried so much over this that he forgot about Thomas's special coach. He pushed it with the others into the carriage siding then ambled along to join Donald at the water column. As he went, Thomas scampered by, whistling cheerfully. Soon, soon, Thomas came fussing. Where's my coach? Coach? asked Donald. What coach? My special coach that Gordon brings for me. It's gone. I must find it. He bustled away. The fat controller and three passengers walked towards them. But Donald, with Douglas's tender, number ten, was out and away with the goods before they came near. Douglas and his driver waited with innocent expressions. Ah, said the fat controller, number nine. And why have you not taken the goods? May a tender is a wire, sir. The driver showed him the tender, still uncoupled. I see. Some defect, no doubt. Tell me, why did number ten leave so quickly? Maybe, sir, put in Douglas. He saw you had come in and thought he was late. 
<laughs> said the fat controller. He turned to the passengers. Here, gentlemen, are the facts. Number 10 has been shunting the yard. Your coach disappeared. We investigate. Number 10 um, disappears too. You, you can draw your conclusions. Please accept my apologies. Controller watched them till they climbed the station ramp. His shoulders twitched. He wiped his eyes. Douglas wondered if he was crying. He wasn't. He swung round suddenly. Douglas, he rapped. Why are you masquerading with Donald's tender? 